Behind the scenes, NASA's decision allegedly sparked controversy and disappointments that were never acknowledged. Buzz Aldrin had believed for a long time that he would be the first to walk on the moon. I think that this incident was poorly managed by Deke Slayton, the head of the astronauts at the time, who left a gigantic ambiguity even though everyone wanted to know. Nevertheless, the decision would be logically clear. As the LEM pilot, Armstrong would be on the side nearest the door and could more easily exit first. Never mind the fact that Buzz Aldrin would have dearly loved to have been the first man on the moon, and he wasn't the mission commander. He did not have the decision-making power for that particular decision. At 9.56 p.m. Houston time, after long minutes attempting to pass through the vessel's hatchway, Neil Armstrong set foot on the ladder between him and the moon's surface. The whole world stopped breathing. That moment would become one of the most significant moments in modern history. On black and white televisions, the image transmitted by the LEM camera was mediocre, but it was enough to unite the entire world. In the early, the original pictures are really hard to tell what's going on. If, if you can see Neil's foot coming down in that picture, you're a better man than I am. <laughs> Armstrong let himself drop to the ground and pronounced the words that would become etched in the stones of history. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Were these words premeditated or simply improvised? Until his death in 2012, Armstrong told the same story. The words came to him once he was on the moon, not before. And yet, after the astronaut's death, some accounts emerged suggesting he prepared his statements in advance. He told me, he says, I don't want to say we beat the Russians. I don't want to say America did it. I want mankind did it. His brother says, don't tell mama. Let her be surprised. From that first step, all the words and all the actions were transmitted live. Neil Armstrong began to methodically photograph the moon. After 19 minutes, Buzz Aldrin finally exited the spacecraft. Buzz steps out onto the porch on the lander to go down, and so he says to Neil, I'm getting ready to close the door, and Neil says, okay, but don't lock it. <laughs> if they lock themselves outside, then you'd have had a problem, you know. <laughs> yeah. 